Here's an example at table base that is called project tracker. An example project tracker where we have a projects and a tasks tables that are interconnected with each other. And in this video, we are focusing on a specific feature of a table that has that is a record templates, predefined set of structures that you can apply automatically for the use case of projects and tasks, for example, and for many other use cases specific to your workflow. So in a project tracker, we have two tables in this example, projects and tasks, but you can also have multiple levels. Each project has multiple tasks. So that's a very standard project management data structure with a relation between the projects and the tasks tables. And you can see that each project, when opened, will also show a progress bar that is automatically calculated based on the tasks completed. And if we look at the hidden fields, we also see there is a tasks relation right here. So these are linked records from the tasks table that you can access directly here. When you go to tools, you have an option that is record templates. And this allows you to create, for example, a project with predefined tasks and predefined people and predefined dates, if you like. And that's what you can use where you want to have a specific set of tasks, for example, created for a project. So if one of your projects at the company is onboarding, and that's a project that has a specific set of tasks that you want created every time that project needs to happen and there is a new hire, that's what you can use Add tables record templates for. When you click on record templates, you can create a new template from this button. And when you create a new template, you have this tail tile right here that you can open to see that's the sample project template one. So we can call this onboarding project, for example. And that's the project record template. Within the project record template, here we have the interface where we can define the name of that project if you want to predefine it directly here. We can link tasks. We're going to come to that in a minute. And we can also predefine different fields, such as the status of the project, the kickoff date, that can be the current date if you want, meaning the date when this record gets created, the due date, this one as well can be current date. That's as dynamic as it gets. You can't really calculate dynamic dates from record templates in a table yet. The only dynamic date that you can use is the current date. And you can also select people from here, such as current user. That is a dynamic field populated for you as well, based on the user who created that record. The next step when setting up a record template is to define the relations that are going to be created. In this case, for each project, we want to have multiple tasks. So you can think of projects as the parent and tasks as the children in the hierarchical data structure of this at table base for project management. So here is a list of tasks that are going to be automatically created for you in the tasks table whenever we use this record template. And the first task might be send email to new hire. Let's say that's the first step. That's the first task. And you can set up the status already. You can write subtasks and that specific feature in this project tracker. It is not necessary really, but these are just checkboxes. So you can format text in a table like that. And you can also create a checkbox by typing square brackets plus space. Assign to, you can select current user or a predefined user in a table. And the kickoff can be five days after the current date. So that's a dynamic date here that you can set up for children records instead. As you can see here, we can set a relative date for the kickoff time. That is five days. Then here you can select before or after, after the current date, meaning the date of creation of the project. Or you can also select the kickoff date or the due date of the project. That's a powerful feature that you can do natively within a table. And this enables you to cascade down all your tasks or your children records in your system to make sure that the dates are properly aligned with the parent project in this example dates and we can have the due date and other fields these are mostly calculated fields so we don't need them 
and here you can create as many tasks as you like. Also, pre-populating them with relative dates, relative assignees, and whatever you need. Once that is done, you can close this record template and it will show up under Tools, Record Templates, and to create a new record, in this case a new project, from a record template, you can select the three dots here and select Create Record with Template. Or, alternatively, you can also apply a template to an existing record by creating a new project, for example. And you can then right-click on that project and select Apply Template. You can select which template you want to apply, and you will see all the data is automatically populated for you with the tasks created, which you can also find under Tasks, right there. In addition to that, when you are in a list view on your uh, table base and the tables within that base, you can right-click an existing record, and you can also create a project template from that record or create any template for any specific records. So if you go to tasks as well, if you create a list view, you can right click and create a record template from that specific instance. That is only possible currently in a list view. So this is a table view or a grid view in a table. And if I right click on it, I do not have the option to create a record template from this record. Rather, I can only apply an existing template here. And that is really all there is to know regarding record templates in that table right now. They are a powerful feature. You can create record templates in a limited quantity, which you can find on the specific pricing plans. On the pro and enterprise plans only, these record templates are currently not available on lower tier plans. You can find documentation in the description of this video. Questions or thoughts are welcome. And see you soon.